Hi, so you've decided to look for a vehicle in the mid-range SUV market. You want something that's going to be really good on gas, very comfortable, but very feature rich. I want to show you this Platinum Rogue. This is going to fit everything that you're looking for, and we're going to check out everything that's in it. And if this fits what you're looking for, let's set you up for a test drive. This is the 2021 Nissan Rogue Platinum. This is an amazing vehicle that's got a ton of features. On the front of this, through the Nissan emblem here, we've got a radar in behind here. This is going to give you automatic emergency braking with forward collision warning as well. You're going to utilize that for your adaptive cruise. Up in the windshield, there is a camera there as well that we're going to use that for our lane departure warning, pedestrian detection. We're also going to use that for our pro pilot assist and our high beam assist features that you're going to get in this. We've got really nice looking 19 inch wheels on this. Our blind spot indicators are out here on the mirrors. We've got a little triangle here on each mirror that's going to light up for when you're blind, something in your blind spot. We've got sensors all around this vehicle. So on the sides, on the back bumper, the ones on the back bumper are going to be used for your rear sonar and your rear emergency braking that are going to come with this. And as well, because it's the platinum version, you do have kick motion activation for your power lift gate. Lots of room on the inside here, along with some divide and hide storage. So with these mats here, I can set this up and it will stay in place there. Some hidden storage in underneath and you can see the cargo covers right there as well. We've got an extra button up here that if I push that, it's going to close this and lock the vehicle all at once. Now I can either push that or as you see there, I can do the kick motion activation on this and it's a nice fast motion on this. In the back seats here, and before we get into the back seats, I can see I've got buttons on all of my doors. So as long as I have my key on me, any of the doors will allow me to open that. Inside, I've got a beautiful Napa genuine leather quilted so that it's designed for comfort. Very soft, very easy to get in and out of. We have stadium seating here in the back, so it gives you a little more room here. And you see up out the driver's side uh, windshield there, and on the back of these is a lever that'll drop down to give me the access that I want. Now with the platinum version on this, there is levers in the back as well, which I can see right there for quick release on these. So it'll drop down if you're in the back. There is cup holders and an armrest that'll fold down here. And in the back, because this vehicle is equipped with tri-zone climate control, I can set my own temperature back here. I've got heated seats and USB ports for anybody who's in the back to maximize their comfort. As well, I do have rear window shades here just to block out a little more of that sun. And we can see up top, we've got a beautiful panoramic moonroof. We're gonna hop inside of this just to see what else we've got with it, but this is a great start. It's gonna fit pretty much all the needs that you have and give you something stylish at the same time. On the inside of the Rogue, we've got a beautiful full color touchscreen display. It's a nine inch display and it does have navigation with it. Also with that, we've got lots of choices for audio here. We've got AM, FM, satellite, which is free for the first three months. We've also got USB one and two, which are labeled down below here. We've got Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which just hasn't been connected yet. Now the really nice thing is your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will run through down here. But if you do have an Apple phone, you can get wireless Apple CarPlay as well. Now normally your Apple CarPlay when it's running down through here would charge your phone. With your wireless Apple CarPlay or with your Android phone, we do have a wireless charge pad right here. Making it really easy to keep your phone charged at all times. We have a new gear shift that I'd love to go over with you in person. But because of the design on the gear shift, we now have some storage underneath here, which is really great. We have an electronic parking brake here and auto hold. Now back up here, we do have tri-zone climate control, as I've mentioned already. So dual in the front here, all I gotta do is change my dial and I can set it to whatever I want. And I can change the back as well. All I gotta do is hit the sync button and everything goes back to the driver's side. Heated seats are on the outsides here, high, medium, and low. And we do have a heated steering wheel here. We're going to set this for auto and it will automatically do what it needs to to keep us where we want to be for the temperature. We have our drive mode selector here. So by default, normally it's on normal mode, which is here. Eco mode is going to get us some better gas mileage. Our sport mode will give us a little more responsiveness or torque on the motor if we're losing our passing lane. We want to get out and around somebody in a hurry. 
Snow mode is great for the winter when the roads are a little bit greasy. You can just turn it over to snow mode. It's going to kick in the all wheel drive sooner and hold it on longer. And then we've got our off road mode here, which will allow those front wheels to slip a little bit in gravel or sand to try and grip. And then it will kick in the all wheel drive and hold it in much longer. Our center console is a butterfly style console and what's really neat about this is if somebody has their arm resting on one side and the other person wants to get in you can push the button and it's only going to open the one side. On our steering wheel we've got our Bluetooth hands free here so answer call or hang up as well as make an outbound call or access the voice recognition system from your phone depending on the type of phone that you have. This button will turn on our cruise control and we can see it's adaptive cruise control and our distance can be set here. And then I can set, resume, cancel, increase or decrease the speed. So with the cruise control on, my screen changes to show me some of my safety features, which we'll get into in just a moment here. And then it's gonna flip over to show me my adaptive cruise, which right now is set for two car lengths plus safe distance. And just as an example, one car length plus safe distance while doing 100 kilometers per hour is gonna be approximately two and a half car lengths worth of space between you and the vehicle in front of you. Now I can see there's some dots here. We're gonna go over all of that in just a moment as we go through the different screens. If I want normal cruise control, I don't want adaptive, I don't want the Pro Pilot, I'm gonna press and hold the blue button and I see the lines completely disappear. I no longer have adaptive cruise, it's just regular cruise. I can see my icon down here has changed and I'll put it back for you here just a second. There's your adaptive cruise. So we can see again, it is a little bit different. It shows me what's going on for my distance here, even when I'm on a different screen. That way I always know what's going on. On the left side of my wheel here, I have my volume for my radio. Now I do have a dial over here, but this makes it easy while I'm driving. These two buttons are gonna go through my presets or skip tracks if I'm streaming through USB, uh, Bluetooth, or Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then I've got my OK button or dial with my arrows around it. This is gonna change my 12 inch digital display screen here. Now, the other thing that we're gonna look at in just a moment is the heads up display. And I can already see I've got a few things showing up here, but we'll go over that in a moment. My home screen shows me a compass as well as my radio info. I've got my RPMs and my speedometer over here. Now, if you don't like the look of this, all I gotta do is push this button here and then push in on the OK dial and it's gonna change the look to a more traditional look. I'm gonna put it back to the other way because it's my personal preference. However, you can leave it whichever way you want. Our next screen over to the right is gonna give me all kinds of information here. Now I see manual reset one and if I scroll down, I see my fuel economy. What I'm gonna do is press the OK button in, manual reset two, and then auto refuel. So this one will reset every time that you refuel the vehicle. Now for fuel, it's right down here, this white or gray bar. When it's full is all the way over to the one. As you start to come down, it will come down this way. And we see there's about a quarter tank of gas here or 156 kilometers to empty. Our next screen over is gonna show me my tire pressure. Once I start to drive, it'll show me all four wheels individually for the exact pressure. And then down below here, this will show when you're in front wheel versus all wheel drive. We have a compass, this goes with your navigation system. It will look just like this. Unless you set the navigation, then that car is gonna disappear and it's gonna show you an arrow going up to the right or up to the left or straight ahead, depending on your destination or next turn. Now there will be an additional screen that shows up here when you have your navigation set that you can display the full map right here on the screen as well. My radio info is right here. And from this screen, if I press in the okay dial, I can pick and choose the source of my audio. Once I do that, it shows right there. Next screen over. So we already saw the adaptive cruise. One above that is gonna be all of our safety features. So for everything that I've mentioned, for your forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection, which also has bicycle detection on it, uh, your lane departure warning, blind spot indicators, rear cross traffic, rear sonar, and rear emergency braking, they will all give visual cues on this screen as well, but you are gonna be more concerned with what's going on around you than you are just on this screen. The other screen that shows up here is called traffic sign recognition. It says speed limit sign. As you pass by a speed limit sign, it will post it very largely right here on this screen. But even if you're not on this screen, it's still gonna post it up top here, as well as up on my display here. 
So we're gonna go back up to there and we're gonna head over. Now our settings here, there's all kinds of settings in here. We encourage you to play with the settings. Don't be afraid to mess anything up. If I go in here, there is a factory reset on the very bottom, so you can't mess anything up. So don't be afraid to play with that. Now, my heads up display is a 10 inch heads up display and I can already see some information up here. Now I've got my speedometer here and then right next to that, it shows me my cruise information. The very bottom, it will show the speed that I've got my cruise set for. Uh, as I pass by a speed limit sign, it will post it directly below my speedometer. Over on the left side here, if I set my navigation is where it's gonna show me all of my directions for everything. So right up here on the left side, it will post an arrow going up to the left or up to the right, depending on the direction of my next turn or straight ahead if it's just my destination there. And then once I get going from there, because this has ProPilot Assist with Navi Assist, if you're approaching a turn on the road that is too much for ProPilot to handle, just up here above the speed limit sign, you will see what looks like an S-shaped road and it'll turn green, it'll come on for a moment. It's going to physically slow down the vehicle to handle that turn. And as soon as you get around the turn, it's gonna speed you right back up. So all kinds of information that can be shown on the heads up display. So a couple last things to go over. If you don't want Pro Pilot, this button here will turn it on or off. So if I push it, it says steering assist off. That means Pro Pilot is currently off. It will not engage at all. You still have adaptive cruise control. If I push it again, it shows that it's back on. That means that the Pro Pilot system will kick in. I'd love for you to take this for a test drive and test out that Pro Pilot system. It's a really neat system designed to help you with long drives or late night drives. If you don't want the heads up display, maybe you find it distracting while you're driving. If I push this button in here, my heads up display turns off. All I gotta do is push it again to turn it right back on. Now you do have memory seats as well. You can set driver one or two and it's gonna set your seats, as the driver's seat as well as the side mirrors just to make sure that everything is good. And then with your key fob, you do have remote start right on this as well as the button to handle your power lift gate. Finally, we do have high beam assist. Now I'm gonna cover our light sensors to force the headlights on. And then as my headlights come on, we can see this darken. So I'm gonna brighten this up a bit. My headlights are on, but out here on the end of my signal indicator is my button for high beam assist. I'm gonna turn that on and that will now stay on with the vehicle. This is going to make your high beams automatic while you're driving at night on the highway to turn them on or off as needed. I know this is an awful lot of information to absorb. This is part of why I'd like to get you in for a test drive. Check out this vehicle. I know that you're gonna love it and the features that are on it. I'm sure I've missed a couple of them along the way, but we'll go over all of that once you're in. If you're still considering a vehicle in the midsize SUV field and looking for something with all kinds of features on it, this is definitely one to check out. Contact me, let's set up an appointment and get you on a test drive. We can do all of our pricing as well.